Icelocked here with Nocturne Gaming, and today we're taking a look at Tangaroa. Once you arrive at Tangaroa, you're looking for a loading bay that looks just like this. There are arrows on the side of the building that show you where to go if you're at coming at it from a different angle. Don't be fooled by the big doors that are up top as you won't be able to access these until later in the guide. A couple items you'll need to finish Tangaroa Island is some sort of weapons, either of spear or bow and arrows are good choices. It's also advisable to have a machete as you'll need this to cut through some doors. Make sure you have plenty of food and water, and a couple other items that could be useful is having headlights as some of the areas can be quite dark, and having a zipline tool is necessary later in the guide, and it can be quite useful to speed up other parts. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started and jump in the water and swim towards the loading bay. Be careful of the shark as it can attack you here. Then jump up on the platform through the gap in the railings there, and head towards the door. At this point, it is kind of dark in these areas, so it's good to go ahead and equip your headlight. And let's continue on forward. We're heading towards the cafeteria, so take a left here, and down the hallway. Go down the ladder here. And then turn around. Continue down the hallway and there are lurkers in this area so be careful of them but we don't have to fight that one. We're gonna take another left and head down another set of stairs. At the bottom of these stairs there is a lurker here and so we will need to go ahead and take that out. Keep in mind that there are two different types of lurkers in here, the small lurker that we're used to, and there's also a bigger lurker that has a little bit more HP and may take a few more attacks. Well, let's go ahead and continue down the hallway now towards the cafeteria, take a right and a left, and we'll be in the cafeteria. Inside the cafeteria, there is two to three lurkers here, so we'll have to fight these. And here is an example of the bigger lurker for you. Once the lurker's taken care of, we're heading to the door that's directly in front of us now, and we're grabbing the generator part here. There's usually another lurker hiding in this area, so we're gonna go ahead and take that out now. And once your lurker is taken care of, continue on through this kitchen area and take the door on the left. The next generator part's behind those metal bars there, so we're gonna take a left and go around to get behind those bars. One more lurker for you to fight. And once the lurker's dead, go ahead and continue forward to grab your generator part. From here, we're gonna turn around and go back the way we came for a second. And instead of going back in the cafeteria, we're gonna take a left to continue on to the storage area next. Take a right here and a left into the storage area. Go in the door and directly to your left is your third generator part. Go ahead and pick that up and then back the way we came, except we're going up the ladders now. At this point, this is where we can power on our generator by using the three generator parts that we just picked up. Everything should be working now and powered up, so that will power on the controls for the crane puzzle here that we're going over next. Now this is a puzzle that you have to solve and I'm going to speed up through this part as it does take quite a bit of time, but the idea is to look at the tape on top of these boxes to create a path starting from where this gray box is and getting to the green door over here. There's also a secret area that is right below us here, so if we can create the path to allow us to go into the secret area, that will unlock the boxed in achievement for you as well. And this is where we can pick up a machete if you don't have one yet. So the controls are fairly simple. You use the controls to move the crane and the red dot tells you where it's gonna pick up. And then the red button in the middle picks up a box and then pressing it again will set it down for you. So we'll be back in just a minute once we have the puzzle solved.
Okay, so this is what your puzzle should look like near the end as we do have a path from the gray box through the gap into the yellow and we can go kind of towards the top to get into the green door or we can follow the bottom path to get into the secret area. So once your puzzle looks something like this, we can head back downstairs now. Keep in mind you can throw on your headlight here as the area is too dark to see. So we want to head into this middle box and we're going to go to the secret area first so take a right and we'll be able to go inside here. A few pieces of loot and items here but there is a machete for you to pick up if you need one. After this we can turn around and head back through our boxes this time going towards the top area and through the door. There is another lurker in here, so be careful. So once the lurker is taken care of, you want to go ahead and pick up your blueprint for the water pipe here. And after this, we can head on through and we're looking for the access that says surface area. From here, take a left and head straight forward and another left here. And this is kind of where things get a little tricky as we do need to open up the surface area up top, but this is going to fail for us and start filling the area with a ton of water here so as the water fills up you do need to have plenty of oxygen to get to the next area the easiest way is to stand by the ladder and this will allow you to maintain your oxygen level as it will not fill all the way up to the top of the ladder once the water is filled up make sure you have full oxygen and head back under the water follow this door and we're following the path here. We want to get through this as soon as possible. You can stop to refill your oxygen if needed, but then continue on your path here. We're heading back to the storage area through a different path here to allow us to continue moving on. Once you're in the storage area, refill your oxygen and head towards this broken ladder up top jump up and that will allow you to head through the door that says plantation now. From here we're going to take a left and head down the corridor towards the plantation. So the plantation area is a water filled room that has electricity. If you touch the water you will take a good portion of damage and it will also slow your character down. So the idea is to head into the rooms and not touch the electrified water, kind of timing your jumps and standing on the areas that are safe to land on. From here we want to head deeper into the room and we're trying to go inside this room here. Jump over a couple more boxes and grab a piece of tape here and one more piece of tape on the soybean bags here. Head back the way you came. This time we're going towards the door with the red light above it. You will need to jump across as we need one more piece of tape. So pick up your piece of tape and then head towards this electricity box to use your three tape and open this door. We have another area here, but all of the doors are locked except for the door at the end of the area that has the surface area sign access. From here, we're gonna continue along our path. We will need to come back to this area in the future, but we'll get to that in just a minute. All right, so once you're up top, this is where there are enemies, and if you get too close, they will fight you. Uh, they're the butler bots here, which we will need to take out a couple of them in just a minute. A couple things to note though is when you get up top there are five of these exits that are all around that you can open up and this will allow you access out to the outside so you can get back to your raft from here if you need to to refill your supplies or anything like that. So once we're up top, there's a lot of areas to explore here, but our main goal is to be able to collect nine pieces of tape to be able to access the next area underground. 
To do this, we need to access the apartment building. So we're gonna head off to the left and to access this building, we need to kill a butler bot. The butler bots take about six hits with a metal spear to be able to kill. And they each drop a access card to access a building. Once you have the butler bot killed, go ahead and loot it to pick up the Tangaroa key card. Continue on forward till you get to this door and we're trying to go into building one here first. Use your key card to access the door and head straight forward to go in the elevator. From here, the elevator lets you know which floors you can go to, so we're heading to floor eight first. Once you're up here, you need to access the door on the left first, head inside and take an immediate right. We do need to go through this piece of tape here, so use your machete to access this door. Go ahead and open it up, and inside on the dresser here, there's a piece of tape for you. Go ahead and turn around and exit the way we came, as there's only one piece of tape there. Once you're inside, there is a lurker in here, so go ahead and take care of that. And then the second door on the left here has another piece of tape on the shelves here. After that, we are going to head outside as this is the easiest way to get to the next set of apartment buildings. And this would be building two. So jump across the ledge here and up top, this gets you to the top of building two. Once you go inside, there's a piece of tape immediately on the counter in front of you. After this, turn around, head down the hallway and take a left turn here. Open the door and we're going into the elevator here by pressing the button to summon it up to you. Once the elevator's here, go inside and go to floor six next. There is another lurker on this floor sometimes, so go ahead and take that out. Once the lurker is taken care of, open the door and take a right turn immediately to go into the next room and there's a tape right on the shelf inside the door. Turn around and we're going towards the balcony exit here and there's another tape on the bench there. From here we're going back inside to go to the elevator and back up to the top floor. So floor 8 here. Go forward and go into the apartment on the left. There's nothing really in here, but we want the easy access to the next building, and that is using the zip line here. So go ahead and use your zip line. Keep in mind that if you do happen to fall off in any of these areas, you can either follow the same path up or any of these buildings do have an access on the ground level. You'll just need another Tangaroa key card to be able to open the front door. But let's continue on and to get into building five, we need to jump across these pillars. And we're jumping inside the window here. You will need to crouch to go through this window. But after that, we're gonna head straight forward and pick up our tape off the bed. From here, go out the door into the hallway with the elevator and go straight across to the next room. Go ahead and take out your lurker and head inside the room and take an immediate left and pick up the tape on the nightstand here. From here, we do have to go down the elevator again as there's no easy access into the next building. Once you're in the elevator, head down to the ground floor and head outside. From here, we're taking an immediate left. We do need to go ahead and take out one more butler bot and this will give us access to the next building. Once the butler's dead, go ahead and grab your key card and we're taking a right onto Partisan Street here and going into building number nine. Go ahead and use your Tangaroa key card and head up the elevator to floor 11. From here, head straight forward, take a right into the first room and take another right and grab your tape out of the bowl here. That's the only tape on this floor, so we're heading back into the elevator now. Go up to floor 13. On floor 13, take a left and go into the next building. And on top of the refrigerator is another piece of tape. Go ahead and head back into the hall and through the next door. Once you're inside, go inside, turn around and go through one door. Head straight forward to the door on the left here. And there is a piece of tape on top of the dresser here. 
there is access from this window going on top of the roof and there's another zip line up top which can take you to another building if you want to continue exploring but we actually have all the tape we need so we are going to be heading back towards the underground to continue on with the story From here, we're heading back underground, and our goal is to get back to the plantation area. Once we're in the plantation area, the water is still electrified, so we need to access the three electrical boxes to get us into the next rooms. The first one is immediately off to the right, so jump across these platforms until you get to the electrical box here. Use three of your pieces of tape to go ahead and access that one, and that will open the door we're heading to now. So from here, take a right, and this door is now open for us. From here, we have two more closed doors and one open access. So head towards the right. and across the couple platforms till you get towards your next electrical box. Use three more pieces of tape and that will open another door for us. So head back the way you came. We're heading straight across through the next set of doors. And our goal is that electrical panel over there. Use your next three pieces of tape to open the last door and that will allow us to turn off all the electricity so the water is now safe to walk through. Go ahead and take a left and we're heading towards the elevator, but there is one blueprint for us to pick up, which is the electric purifier blueprint here. After that, head through the door and take a left as we're looking for the elevator. Once you're in this room, go ahead and take a right and head into the elevator. This does take us back up to the surface, but there is an achievement we can access by clicking the button in the top left-hand corner of the elevator door here. This will take us down to floor negative 20 and unlock the achievement you should not be here. Once you enter this room, you should go ahead and get your achievement. There's a few crates for you to pick up, but there's nothing story related here other than a note that's on the desk. But we're going to go ahead and continue back with the story. So we're heading to floor eight. Once you're on floor eight, go ahead and head into the apartment and go all the way across it. Go ahead and take out your lurker. Once you take out the lurker, we actually are going back the way we came. So we're going outside this door here onto the patio area, taking a right and going up the stairs here. Once you're upstairs, head inside the building and we're crossing through a few rooms here until we get to a broken window. Go ahead and jump outside and jump up the crates here. Onto a balcony and a few more jumps up around the unit here and up on top. This allows us to use a zip line to head into the next building. Be careful as this ledge is quite small and if you fall down, it's a long path to get back up here. There is a lurker inside here once we go in, so be careful of that. And go ahead and take your lurker out. After this, we're heading towards the right side of the apartment to go up these set of stairs. It is quite a few stairs up and there are some tokens that you can pick up on each level if you want to continue exploring, but we're just going all the way to the top to continue our story. From here, go ahead and take a right and continue across until we can get to the broken window and jump outside. Again, the ledge is very small, but we're looking for the zip line here. So go ahead and take your zip line across to the tower in the center of the area. Immediately go up the ladder that's on your left when you jump off the zip line. 
And once you're up top, go towards the left as we're looking for the entrance to the next area. From here, go ahead and continue forward by summoning the elevator. Go inside and go up to floor two. Once you're on floor two, there's a few things that are worth mentioning. First is the blueprint for the large storage chest. So go ahead and pick that up. And the note here is actually a puzzle for you to solve to get the access code for the emergency bridge launch. So I'll give you a few seconds to figure that out if you want to. If not, we'll go ahead and continue in just a second. All right, so if you figured out the code, go ahead and enter it. If not, the code is 4813. That's gonna start some shaking on your screen and a lot of noise. But that should give you access to open the door. And if you look outside, you'll see a pretty large smoke trail. So that's the direction we're heading. Go ahead and head back inside and take the elevator down to floor zero. And once you're on the bottom floor, go ahead and head outside. Here's where all of the vending machines are located, and this is where you can spend the vending machine tokens if you want to. But if not, we're gonna go ahead and continue the story. And to do this, we need to head off towards the right, go through these buildings until you get to the edge of the wall for Tangaroa. Go ahead and open this exit if you haven't already. And once you're outside, you'll see the top of the tower that was basically blown off of the top of Tangaroa and swim over towards it. Once you get to the tower, climb up the ladder and down another ladder for you. Once you're down on the bottom, you can go ahead and pick up the character Elaine, and this will allow you to use this character when you continue to play in the future if you want to. After that, there is a blueprint for the water tank on the table here, as well as the coordinates for Varuna. And this will allow you to continue on story to Varuna Point. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content. And a huge shout out to our Patreon members that support the work we do. Thank you from all of us here at Nocturne Gaming. If you would like to become a patron and get some added benefits, check out the link in the description. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.